All right, today we're gonna bring an outdoor camera. This is a 360 all views around. Now you could buy the services of cloud system, but you could also set up your own micro SD card. Underneath of it, um, you have your power on, your reset button, and then the micro SD card goes in there. Now, the great function about this is that you don't have to worry about charging it or having it uh it plugged in somewhere because it does come with its own solar panel we're going to set this up it's very simple you just screw this on and locks it in place and you're set to go instructions are included in here you are going to require the application in order to remote into this and capture anything or you want to transfer from the sd card instead of taking it out you can do it through remotely through your camera you could buy the services too now it gives you instructions how to download the applications it's made for droid or Apple phone. So we're going to set it up and see how well it works. All right, this is the app that you're going to require to in over to enable this camera. So we're going to set that up and make sure it's working. All right, my recommendation is that to set this up, do it indoors. All right, we just I just heard a click. It's coming on, it's making a noise. And it's going to start looking for the actual connection. And that's where you actually have to get your phone and you got to say add new cameras. All right, this is very important for you guys. Um, there's actually two entries in here, right? The first entry is for the actual um, uh, solar panel that goes in there. So that's where you actually get your connection and the solar panel connects directly to it. So it could keep it waterproof and seal it sealed, right? All right, let's take a look at some of the features on the camera itself. The camera has really good access that you can do and you can move around the camera. So let's go ahead and take the remote on the camera. I'm gonna show you guys the camera features. So right now it's doing motion detecting. Then right now some of my cameras are actually giving you some light feed. And here's the actual camera. You have the position to actually move the camera around in any direction you want, pretty much. Uh, right now we're at 2K quality, if you guys can see that. And this quality is really good. Got your, You could talk to anybody on the other end. You could turn on sirens. You could turn on the audio so you can listen into what's going on the other end. And then there's more, there's more. There's white light, sleep and so forth. Um, the features I like about that you could add your library and they do have um, uh, a, a cloud system or like I said, if you have your own uh, micro SD card, you'll be able to install it in here. Uh, the camera's gonna keep detecting any kind of movement in there. Uh, any anything you want to make changes, uh, you can always go to the settings in here. On the settings, you have all these things that you can change. Right now, I don't have a micro SD card, so it's not detecting any micro SD card. But you could turn it off from here, power on. All right, we're gonna fill this for the day. It's getting a little dark right now. We're gonna come back in a couple of hours and come back and see how well I hear it and I see it. So. We're going to test it out one more time at night and come back to you. So this is the camera at night. You're able to see it pretty good. Ninety-nine point six of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe. 